Hello and welcome to a Dragon PMA tutorial. Now I'm really sorry I haven't made a tutorial in ages. Uh, to be honest, I ran out of ideas. That that's it. I I'm not quite sure what to do. But anyway, um, I've decided to do um a little quick tutorial on iSync, which is meant to be the program where you can sync all your stuff together. Um, be it mobile phone or iPod, except actually iPods and iTunes and stuff. But um, basically, I think the only use I've found for it is for my mobile phone. So I'll show you what it does and how it's how it's done. So you can see there, I just press Apple Spacebar and I typed in iSync, click the top hit, because it is iSync, and here we go. Right, it looks boring. Why? There's nothing here, no buttons, except this sync button. But you, when you click it, there's, there's no devices. Okay, right, so you can either go into the top here and go devices add device right or you can just click your sync device button here and be like ah oh, I uh, don't have a device add device okay so then it looks for the devices and it would look for devices mainly on the Bluetooth um, and it would find devices that could be synced to for example um, my mobile phone is in the Bluetooth list here where is it? See, it's in the Bluetooth list. Um, Dragon Pimmy, Crazy Babe. Crazy Babe was my uh, mother. Anyway, that's that's a different story. Um, Dragon Pimmy, in you can see it says it can't be connected to the device. Why? Um, it's via Bluetooth, which is what this symbol here. So if it was via airport or via um, firewire or whatever via a cable it would tell you on the right hand side here but uh, red is a no-go that means my Bluetooth isn't turned on and my phone w isn't within a uh, certain range which is kind of stupid because I need to show you for the tutorial so one moment I shall go and I shall get my phone and turn the Bluetooth on right so now the Bluetooth is turned on on the mobile phone which is this one it's a uh, Sony Ericsson Nokia no Sony Ericsson K fifty I I don't know but anyway um uh, if it's not on the list and you had to do what I do which was run away and go and get your device you can just click quickly scan again and it should come up with devices and on your mobile phone here it says uh, Pomenel's Mac requests to use your phone allow yes right so I've allowed it to use it and on both um the Mac and the mobile phone there is a indication that Bluetooth transfer has been um, used so right as it says double click to add the device so I'll double click and voila um, you can add more devices if you've got like a list of 20 say you can just keep on double clicking down the list but that's the only one I want to use okay so this is now I think looks like it's doing something it's got your mobile phone woohoo and you can um, basically start at the top move down whoop Two seconds. Uh, hello. Uh, one moment. I'm doing a tutorial. <laughs> Be right back. Okay. So for first thing, um, you can merge data on the computer device, or you can erase the data on the device in sync. But I don't want to delete anything. I just want to merge the data. So voila, I merge it together. I don't want to delete anything because that will be catastrophic. Okay, so turn on the synchronization. So if you want to keep it in the list, but you don't want to sync from this device, you can tick and untick this box. Um, and this is where all you can choose what you want to synchronize. So my mobile phone really only synchronizes uh, calendars and the contacts. So you want to synchronize contacts, tick. Um, now, if you have some kind of groups, but my phone doesn't, I'm guessing it will be here. Um, like I don't know home people or like friends or something like that and calendars or calendars or just certain calendars now I don't have any calendars so no I don't want any calendars I don't actually use iCal maybe I should anyway more options will give you um, uh, a little bit more advanced but to be honest I don't think you should t touch them although you could um, have fun with that anyway so then you just click sync device and you should get a blue bar and hopefully on the mobile phone it says Paul Manel's Mac is requesting to access your items allow yes um, so that's kind of a bit of security there your mobile phone is actually telling you well oh, wait a second someone's trying to connect I don't know if you want this I assure kind of thing rather than um, me being able to browse on my Mac 
for next door neighbors mobile phone and steal all their contacts and um, ring them asking if they like scary movies for example but anyway you see the i sync is uh, completed and to be honest it doesn't look like it's done anything but if you go into what what i sync the contacts didn't i so if i go on contact is it contacts i can't remember the um the program i'll have a browse do, 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 do. Oh, i think it's the address book actually silly me yes it is address book right um and you'll see here i've got all the mobile phone numbers and stuff of people so for example um i've got all my phone numbers here for example andy andrea uh will and grace well grace and will actually josh corley kevin etc um all my phone numbers are stored here and if you look where am i press me 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 in fact you'll just be able to see by clicking on um the apple one it would give you all the information that was actually on the phone for example if you typed in an address it would uh, be in the address if you typed in a home page but most of them um like for example my first mobile number um only has the address uh, sorry the the number there um this number is actually not used anymore so i could probably delete it um so yes they would all automatically appear in the address book you don't have to to be honest i haven't added or taken away anything from the address book um everything on here is basically synced from my mobile phone um, and that's how how you do it and if people have ipods and things like that you'll notice that in itunes um there it is that you can let me just plug in my ipod um you can through itunes you can actually add then them contacts to your um your ipod and to be honest i don't know why you would want to do that because then if you do that and then your ipod's been stolen um they've got all your contact details so here um where is it info uh you can sync your address book so you've synced your mobile phone to your address book then your address book to your ipod it's a nice way of synchronization if you like that type of thing but um to be honest i don't think it's gonna come in that handy really i mean if you want a mobile phone number it should be on your mobile phone but likewise it works the other way if you've added something into the address book and then press sync it would add them to your phone too um okay so i hope you've learned something if you haven't learned anything i do apologize and i've wasted your time to be honest but um hopefully in the future uh i'll make a more productive and a better tutorial um there we go if you plan on using isaac it's a good way to back up your contacts because uh, i know someone who actually just completely broke their phone i think they ran over it in a car or something um and they had to get a new one and all the contacts were saved to the computer so it was very easy to get the contact numbers back because you see it on msn all the time um oh i've lost my phone please would you send me um your number or new mobile phone please send me your number and it's just like well why don't you just back them up you silly turd anyway <laughs> i called someone a turd um uh, yeah i hope you've learned something and i hope i haven't destroyed your day etc 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 thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time on a dragon pme tutorial